review during the process of literature review when you are reading a research paper then extracting the exact data from a research paper is a very time taking and tough task for new researchers there are multiple ai tools available which are helping you to read proper thoroughly in less time and more efficiently in today's video we are going to make a comparison between different ai tools which are available for research paper reading or to chat with your research paper and extract the data according to your queries as well as we will see the free options of these ai tools and i will recommend you some tools which you can use in free and take maximum benefit from these tools there are four ai tools which are specifically designed to read the research paper efficiently or chat with your literature the first one is a chat pdf then we will talk about homata then we will explore the paper explainer and at the end we will talk about size space so if you really want to solve your issue about research paper reading efficiently with some free options and with maximum efficiency then stay tuned first tool which i am going to review is the chat pdf chat with any pdf join million of student researchers and professionals to instantly answer questions and understand research with ai but chat chat pdf have a limitation about number of papers to chat once but with the, with the free option you can take maximum benefit from this tool by applying some tech tips here is you have a two options you can either upload a single pdf you can upload multiple file chat create folders to organize your files and chat multiple pdfs in one single conversation so th this is up to you that what you want to explore at that moment if you uh, want to explore one pdf then you just have to drop your pdf here and you will start conversation no no the trick comes when you start conversation that what kind of questions do you ask and how much specific you are about your queries and i will show you the method by adopting that you can take maximum benefit from all these chat pdf tools and take maximum benefit in the free version so for example we are going to chat with only one pdf one paper and we are going to select one paper from the this paper will appear here and here is our library we can even add a new folder like this and we can start chatting with the folders so here is the summary of our paper and here are some questions which a chat pdf suggested us about the about extracting the data about analyzing the research paper we can ask these questions just by copying and pasting in the question bar and we will get the answer and this tool will tell us that this data specific data has been taken from which page and this will tell us about from which page so in this way we can even use this summarized data with the references which will take from the reference text which have been copied from the research paper and can be used in our research document with some changes benefit but how you can take the maximum benefit of this tool you can you have to copy the title of the paper and you have to open the chat pdf and you will ask chat pdf give me 10 questions to be asked about this paper from chat pdf and then you will give the title of that specific research paper chat gpt will generate specified questions about that research topic about that research paper and you can ask very specific questions which will which will give you uh, the whole analysis of that research paper and you can extract all the information in the form of a chunks or in the form of a summary uh, rather than going through whole paper and reading that information so this is the question number 1 what was the initial belief regarding the role of surface uh, chromium on uh, radioactive army bronze weapons in their preservative what role uh, did chrome plating on the radioactive army bronze weapons play in the preservative according to the collaborative research by us island radioactive army museum research is how did scientists determine that chromium found on the bronze surface was simply uh, contaminated so in this way you can ask very specified questions about uh, about that research paper and you can ask these all questions even there is a limited on the platform limitation on the platform but you can ask hundred of questions from that research paper or from that folder of the research papers which you are going to analyze if you analyze two research paper per day from chat pdf and analyze them thoroughly by this means then you can take maximum benefit of this tool in free the second 
tool which is going to help you to analyze your research paper and to have a chat with your research data is the Humata. Humata, you have to get login with your uh, Gmail and then you will add folders over here. There is an option to add folder. You will add folder and make a new folder. For example, I'm going to make a folder Ionic clickers and then I have to add the paper in that folder, upload and I will add all these papers and after these all paper will be uploaded, Humata will give me an option to ask question from these research papers. So in Humata or in a folder of research papers, you have to be clear about the about the headings, about the subheadings or about the questions you have to ask. For example, you are writing a research paper or for example, you have a writing uh, your thesis or any kind of a research document, you can develop its professional outline and sub outline from any AI tools like ChatGPT or Jenny AI. And when you have a specified and systematic outline of your research document, then by taking each heading and subheading, you can just put these heading and subheading in the uh, search bar and you will find all the data which you are going to include your research document. Means after developing the headings and subheadings, you will come to these tools which are going to help you to evaluate your research document or literature. You can ask those, you can just type those heading and subheading in the search bar and you will get the answer. For detail, there is a, there are a lot of videos available in my AI and research tool. You can explore that and you will find that, that how you can build an outline from AI tools and how you can write with the help of AI tools after having a professional outline. So when, when the uploading has done, there is an option that is asked. I can select all the research papers or all the data to whom I want to ask the questions and I will click ask all. So here is the research search bar where I am getting uh, the option to ask the questions and here are all the details of all uploaded data in my folder. I can ask the questions by taking questions, the major challenges, what is the major challenges while implementation tax system in India for example. This is, the, this is the major challenges which they talk about according to the data and in the same way if I have developed my outline I can ask multiple questions over here about my topic and, and I will get done. So for example, this is my question and this uh, platform will collect the data from all the uh, documents which I have uploaded and provide me the information with the references. Meanwhile, we will explore another platform that is a SciSpace. A SciSpace is also going to help you to not only exploring the research paper in the search bar. For example, we are going to microwave assisted uh, synthesis. We are going to ask the same question which we mostly ask and this is the research paper which we are going to explore by chat GPT. So, so ask uh, when we, so there are multiple questions which I can ask about co-pilot to explain this paper and uh, I can even click this ask co-pilot and I can explain the practical implications of this paper and even I can ask my specified questions in the same way as I written as I take help from the chat GPT earlier in case of a chat PDF. All those questions I can ask from all these platforms and I can get answers of my according to my requirement. So you can see in home Meta, what are the future challenges in this and this is the data which is provided which Meta provided me and this is the reference as I click this reference I will get the details of the reference from where this tool have collected this information from all the documents which I have, have I have uploaded in the folder and I get all the details so you can just simply copy it and can paste it in your Google Docs or your OneDrive online Microsoft file and you can edit them and you can rephrase them and you can adjust them with the information you are writing. So here is the results from SciSpace which I have been explained earlier. You can take a lot of information from SciSpace, the results of the paper. The result of this paper are these and I can ask all the questions which I have asked earlier, chat GPT and Homata. Then there is another tool which is the explain paper. Explain paper also give you an option to upload a paper. For example, you upload a paper and your paper will come here. You just have to click the paper and this tool is linked with the chat GPT. For example, if you want to explain or to have more information of any tool or you want to have an additional information about any question this tool is going to help you. So you just have to highlight the section of the paper. This tool will give you a detailed information about that topic and even you can ask a lot of questions about ask follow-up questions. You can develop those follow-up questions with the help of a chat GPT and can ask explain paper. So 
these four AI tools are going to help you to read your research paper efficiently by applying some technique. They, they are paid, they have some limitations, but uh, if you know that how to use them efficiently without subscribing them, then this, this video is definitely going to help you. If you really like this content, if you want to have this type of a content in future, then definitely you have to subscribe my channel because here I'm going to help you to use these AI to, to be more efficient and more productive in, in your academic life. And also I'm helping you to be a good researcher, find uh, multiple options to uh, non-traditional careers being a scientist or being a student who I research. See you in another video. Till then take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.